bem do o que é que é o que é o que o Bar. So, all over Indonesia they, they buy the bar and then they manufacture it to the dimensions they want using this little blue thing here. Just using that. Just a 4x2 with nails in it. Or actually a piece of the bar. And, uh, and they bend it round that with a special tool. Clever. And now all the bamboo's gone in, so you can see there's literally hundreds and hundreds of bamboo uh, poles here. And they're incredibly strong, lightweight, easy to use, simple to cut, and under pressure, tensile strength, you know, they're tensile strength, pushing down on a pole like that, they're stronger than steel, they're actually stronger than steel. So it's lightweight, simple to use, cut it to length and it'll hold up all that cement while it's setting. No problem, just got to have enough in. So what they've done is put in one pole every, let's say, foot and a half, 20 centimetres, 30 centimetres, something like that. Probably a bit more than that, but there's a lot of them. Okay, let's have a look at what they're doing now. Here we are. So there's those same lengths of steel. They've all been cut the custom way. How you going, fellas? Salamat pagi. Salamat pagi juga. So, yeah, look. That's all those steel rods. They've all just been tied off. They don't use Rio like we do in Australia. They tie off those thin rods we saw downstairs in crosshatch like that. And that's basically it. It's basically woven strips of thin steel rod. When labour's cheap, why would you buy mesh? And mesh is hard to transport around the barley. You know, it's dangerous. Lots of people on scooters. It's much safer to actually drag around big folded lengths of steel in ribbons. Like big bundles of ribbons. There's another construction going on over here, which is interesting. This used to be a resort, an old resort, but now it's been demolished and the building is much now. You can see there, that roof is um, basically a steel rings with some type of plant, a long branch or vine it's put into place and then it's thatched, it's big thatch, just like this one here. I've got a watch thatch, uh, two years ago I filmed a development like this burned down in about 45 minutes because someone went loose with an angle grinder something happened, got some sparks up in the thatch, couldn't put it out and the whole place burnt down in 25 minutes. Yeah, 25 minutes, not 45. Burnt down in no time. So these thatch huts have their floors, you know. It's dangerous material and it's a real bastard to get fire trucks down these narrow lanes and find a water main and all that sort of business. So I don't know how Adrian feels about having this thatch roof construction right next door. So you can see they're just using light gauge wire to tie that off with a pair of pliers. These guys are walking around all day just tying this together, weaving it together like a matrix of steel. And what he's doing is tying that upper layer to the box layer that they built for the beams and then pour the whole thing as one one straight pour and it'll all be tied together and as strong as bugger is. Notice how it's also the steel sort of raised at the beams and then comes down. And for extra strength it's got double layers there. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah these fellas will be at it for a couple of days maybe, tying it all together. And then they'll bring in a cement mixer and a pump or a conveyor belt that will lift the cement up to this level, pour it, and then let it set. So there's a specialised tool. Look, see, so he's bending that 
thing in that steel with a specialised tool, which is basically a rebar with two prongs in it. Very simple, but very effective. Now that'll marry up nicely with the rebar, see, nice and with the uh, with the beam, with the box beam. Mm. Anyway, simple but effective. Just the one, pretty much the one material. And there you can see the bamboo from a different angle, holding up the boxing. So at the moment, basically, these guys are walking around on these plywood sheets supported by this bamboo. That cow's just about to drive off, but I thought I'd better get a front shot. This is how she's looking at the moment. This is about the 18th of July, 2011. So as you can see, all the bamboos in place, holding up the formwork. Next couple of days they'll be pouring it for sure. Here's that beam I told you about. Hi brother. I'm gonna watch you do. Cut, cut, cut. So you put a bit of a cut on that for tax or to weaken it. We spend all day here doing that. And use this. This is for all I use is that four by two, the blue door old door jam. So sitting on there. It's got a few pins in it. And you put it at the right length where you want to bend it. You use this for the rebar with a couple of lugs on it. And bend it with that. Simple piece of tool. So all you need is that rebar. Just bending out that bend in it. And then a hacksaw. The door jam with a couple of pins in it. And that bar, and you can make any type of shape you want. You won't bother cutting that all the way through. You won't bother cutting all that all the way through. Just put a nick in it, just to weaken it. And then break it. Go. Saves a lot of work. Just use that to straighten him back out again. So he's not wobbly. These your sizes, yeah? You have to do these ones. So there's the measurements on the thing there. So that's what he's got to bend it to. That's what he's got to bend it to.